Tess. Welcome to WFM Radio. This is In Between Pieces, brought to you by Writings from Michael, where I discuss entrepreneurship from the lens of an artist and business mindset. This conversation is made with love and joy for your mission, your purpose, your calling, and your journey. Welcome with love. Peace. All right, so we are back with WFM Radio In Between Pieces. I am your host, Michael G. Simpson from WFM Radio In Between Pieces with Love. Back with episode 16, man. 16 walks of life, man. Shout out to Dream behind the cam, and we're just trying new things. Shout out to my new improved seat. This is really a gamer tree, uh, chair, but they don't make painters chairs like this, but I had to re-improve and re-innovate. So I want to talk about a topic that a lot of you creatives, I think, think about daily, one, it's the first thought in your mind, too. And if you're working a job that you hate and you don't like, you're probably thinking about this, too, consistently. And it's also turning passions to profits. And turning passions to profits, I think this is the topic that really I started to think about when I went and scrolled through TikTok, I scrolled through Instagram and understood, like, why is there a different conversation contrary to a creative's mindset that puts you opposing to the thought of, passion sometimes you get the thing when you when you when i was raised it was like just go the safe route right you know go to school go to college get a nine to five job retire at a certain age and that's it when i guess i got older that's not for me it, it really isn't for me and i feel like for a lot of other folks out here watching this it's not for you at all too as well so how can we turn passions to profit and understand that the things that you are passionate about you can make profit you can make impact and income at the same time hence that's why passion when you are passionate about things i think it brings a different side of you that motivational side right consistency right being disciplined and understanding that you can have self-improvement through the things you are passionate about so why be in a life where you aren't passionate about, you, you're only doing it because it's bringing a paycheck, why not do the same thing which you love and it happens to be a byproduct of making money? So the contrary thought was when I was scrolling through TikTok, I saw this conversation, don't do things that are passionate. For me, I turned 30 March 4th, shout out to my birthday, man, if we released this episode before, hey man, I'm a Pisces, I'm flowing in this world called life and I'm only 30, right, or turning 30, but... Even when I turn in my 30s and in these countless years, I don't see myself as getting older. I just see myself as getting wiser and more seasoned, and I just happen to have this young spirit. And even if you're 40, 50, 60, it's never too late. Why, why put yourself in a box to think that it's too late to follow your passion? This is where I think we go wrong, right? We are listening to the standards of what society has brought to us, right? And this society, I want to mean America, right? Shout out to all the listeners all over the country and all over the world, you know, right? This society that holds us to this thing of going to school. For me, I dropped out of college my sophomore year, not because I didn't have the acumen and the capability to stay in school, but because I felt something different in my heart that the path was different. If we, if we judge and measure everybody by this same uh, regimen and same curriculum, how are we going to have innovators and thought leaders and pushers and entrepreneurs in this world, creatives, right? Had I seen someone painting at the age of 9, 10 years old, being successful and creating and, you know, making a sustainable life inside and out, I think I may have started earlier. I wish I would have started earlier on this path of being a creative because the faster we see things, the faster we can see that it's possible to make profits while being passionate. All my creatives, man, shout out to Junior, shout out to, uh, we, we, we almost speak a language of problem to solution, right? Where there's a problem, there's a solution. And where the creative comes into place, we are being innovative within that problem and solution. Then hence, we are being innovators, right? Visionaries at that. So I, I, I say to this, man, if you are a young kid, say you're 16, 17, you're deliberating, you're trying to figure out, do you want to go to college? Go to college, right? I'm not saying don't go to college. I'm saying this. Make sure you follow your passion, not just follow it, but build upon your passion. If you're passionate about computers, hone in on that. Work at a job that's going to put you around computers. I like technology when I was younger. I love technology now, right? Hence all these, these cameras in front of me here and all this beautiful lighting. But that's why I worked at Apple. It put me around a certain type of energy, right? And I feel like when you follow that energy, right, you're following your heart in an instance, right, with logic. I'm not just saying follow your heart aimlessly, but you put logic behind what you're doing, I really believe that the energy that you're putting out, you get back in return, 
right? And you're just kind of hitting this pendulum forward, right? Forward and onward. Shout out to Forward Space, man. Much love. And it's all about putting that energy into the right places. So if you're putting energy into going somewhere you're not destined to be, for me, I always thought maybe um, this is before the creative endeavors, I'd be working on Wall Street. Now, you're probably looking at me like this is, sounds crazy because it does sound crazy. But I was following a, a, a measurement stick that was not for me. Right. That doesn't mean to say I can't have clients that are on Wall Street and still share the conversation and insight and valuable uh, knowledge and conversations. It goes hand in hand. Whether you follow your passion or not, it's going to put you in that same realm of thinking no matter what. So my thing is just follow it. Build upon it. The same way you're building a dream. Why not build something that you're going to actually love? So when we turn 60, 70, 80 years old, it's not work. I mean, you can retire, but still doing things you love. The, the, the number one thing I hear too on the, the 60, 70, 80 mark is when people retire and they have to find something they love. Why not find it now and just implement what you have to implement, a plan, right? And that energy behind it. So turning passions to profits is something that you can do. Don't let no one tell you to tell you from that otherwise, man. I think a lot of kids go wrong where you're taking the safe route because even the safe route is risky, Right. You putting yourself at, a, 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 at just a stick. Right. At, at just this like meeting point where you meet just right there. To me, the complacency and comfortability is more and more uh, detrimental than just following the risks, because the reward is living a life that you truly are proud of. Right. So I'm going to leave off with that. Turning passions to profit is all about you putting the energy behind what you're doing. Excuse me. And, 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 and really believing in it. Right. Have faith. Right. Don't just think it's going to happen overnight. But I'm saying every day is a little bit of just, you know, the pendulum. Right. As Junior says, Escada, man, each and every day, little by little, baby, it's all about them little steps, man. Little things go a long way. So turning passions to profits, whether you're a videographer, whether you're a photographer, a painter, a creative, whether you're an entrepreneur, I feel like we can turn our passion to profits, right? What you are passionate about, let's manifest this life, right? So I'm going to leave off with that, man. Much love. Episode 16. Let's bring on some new energy, new flow. It's February. Keep on going. Keep on flowing. I'm your host, Michael G. Simpson. Much love. Peace. And you just listened to WFM Radio In Between Pieces. Please like, subscribe, download, and spread this conversation with love and joy. Keep going on your mission, your purpose, your calling, and your journey. Much love. Peace.